Okay. To be honest, I'm still at the place where I sometimes don't recognize myself in the mirror. I'm like, oh, it's me. Um, I love, love it for the character. Uh, so that has been really, really exciting for me. But yeah, for me, I'm still getting used to it, but I do love it. Mm. Mm. I've been to so many great concerts. I've been to a lot of Delwater Gap and Isle Horn concerts this year, and I've loved every single one of those shows. So I, like, I have to say that. Um, yes. <laughs> okay, I definitely, yes, I'm gonna foster more puppies. I have to prepare myself a little bit better emotionally because I was so happy both my little babies, my foster puppies found wonderful homes, but I was also a little emotionally devastated. <laughs> so just gotta prepare myself a little bit better, but I loved it and I definitely wanna do it and we need more fosters. So if anyone's watching this and you wanna foster puppies or cats or animals, you should do it. This is your sign, do it. Lose Yourself by Eminem. Enough said. Hmm. Um, I think all the travel I've been able to do for the first time in a really long time, a lot of the travel I've been doing has been really more for me and recreational rather than for work, which I still am very grateful for and had a little bit of that the past 12 months and loved it. But yeah, I feel like the travel has been very awesome and I've been feeling very thankful to be able to do that. I don't know yet, but you know what? I'll let you know when I know. Love this question. Um, no. And I'm going to answer this in a very weird way because there are things that I would do differently today if it was coming out today or coming out this year but I would not change how they ended up, how the whole album and the songs ended up being. Um, I feel really strongly that that was the state that they had to be in. There are like a couple things that from a technical level where I'm like, oh, I wish this part sounded like a little less this, or I'm trying not to be too specific here, but I, very, very much feel so proud of the album and really think, yeah, that was the debut album that I was meant to put out. And I'm so, so proud of it. Oh, of course I tried Tacos El Pastor. Those are the only tacos that everyone, both in Mexico City and people who had been to Mexico City kept telling me about. It was like, you can't have any other taco but Tacos El Pastor. And you know what? They were right. They were literally amazing. <laughs> First of all, I love you so much and I'm so sorry. I'm sending you so much love. Second of all, thank you. I, I just love you. And I already said it, but I'm saying it a third time. I love you. Oh, absolutely. I think the quarter life crisis is very real and very prevalent in today's world just as real as the midlife crisis. Um, yeah, I remember literally hitting 25 and that was also during COVID time. But even the year before, I remember especially 2019, which I think I was 24. Yeah, right? Or was I 23? I don't know. Somewhere around there, I was feeling so lost. The 20s are a weird time. Um, and you have such expectations for yourself. And then if you don't hit those expectations, you do kind of convince yourself that you've failed completely. Um, which I don't know, this year I have had a very different mentality, which I appreciate. But if you are in your 20s and you feel lost, I feel like that is very normal. Oh, honey, you are a little late on this and that's okay. Last year in August, right before I announced my debut album, I got rid of all my Instagram posts. And by got rid of, I mean, I archived all of them because getting rid of them would have been devastating. Um, oh, by the way, I saw another question about this. This is not a real tattoo as you can see, but it may be a tattoo my character has. Um, a little venting about to happen right now. Um, 
I got rid of all of my posts and then Instagram never put me down to zero post. And I was so annoyed by that. <laughs> I was so confused. Even now it says like 152 posts and it's way less than that. So I don't know. I'm irritated because technology isn't working. And this really has nothing to do with your question, but I just, I just need to talk to someone about it. Oh, truly iconic. Truly iconic. I loved you the best that I could But I know that you'll love you better If I told you to come back, you would That's why I can't ask for forever Oh, you mean one of the best pieces of television I've ever seen? Oh yes, many times. Some parts are re-recorded and some parts are literally from 2015, which is kind of wild. Um, and there's a few songs in the album that are like that. So Powerless, those are all, besides Abigail's vocals obviously, but all of those vocals are from 2017. Um, Brand New Heart has parts that are from 2015 and the parts from 2023. Um, are there any other songs that, I mean, some songs were recorded in 2021, some were recorded in 2022. So yeah, it's funny. It's like kind of cool because you kind of hear also how my voice has changed a bit. So it really does feel like, like a collection of my time and experience and blood, sweat, and tears over the years of making this album. Um, so yeah, parts of it are from 2015. More soon.